The overall goal of this procedure is to fractionate adherent and non-adherent mammalian cells in situ in order to examine protein localization. This is accomplished by first attaching the cells to microscope cover slips. The second step of the procedure is to remove the cytoplasmic and loosely held nuclear proteins. The third step of the procedure is to remove the tightly held nuclear proteins. The final step of the procedure is to remove the chromatin fraction, leaving the nuclear matrix and associated proteins on the cover slip. Ultimately, results can be obtained that show protein subcellular localization and co-localization through immunofluorescence microscopy. Hi, I'm Anya Pons-Wadishai from the laboratory of Kevin Gaston in the School of Biochemistry at the University of Bristol. Today we will show you a procedure for in-situ subcellular fractionation. We use this procedure to study the localizations of transcription factors. So let's get started. We will begin by demonstrating the procedures for attaching both non-adherent and adherent mammalian cells to cover slips. Here the non-adherent cells are K562 cells and the adherent cells are COS7 cells. To attach non-adherent cells, place a polyl lysine coated cover slip in a well of a 6-well plate with the coated surface facing up. Seed K562 cells at a density of 7 times 10 to the 5 cells per well in Delbeco's modified Eagles medium supplemented with 10% fetal bovine serum and penicillin streptomycin. Unlike non